Oh no. Are you gonna do a chair? Yo. <laughs> How did you do that? Oh. Oh. This goes hard. <laughs> Okay. Bienvenidos a la serie donde reacciono a tus videos y te doy una calificación. Uh -huh. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Every time I wear my Colombian football tops, I just feel extra Latino. But yeah, welcome back to the series. Thanks to everybody who submitted their videos to the React Submission channel on my Discord, which, by the way, you can join by clicking the link down below. Before we start, quick ginger shot. Oh. With that being said, okay, SW. Oh, you're new. Hi. Oh. Oh yeah, I like this style. I like this style already. Nice. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> this is crazy. Bro, this is just so on beat, it's great. This is sick. Loki a bit trippy as well. This type of editing is based on, I think this guy, Devisu. He does really cool looking effects like these and I love them. In fact, I'm actually gonna do a tutorial on how to do something like this. I love how you did it. I love your interpretation of it. By the way, I think it's fine if you guys take something that you're inspired from and redo it, you know, still like an artist. I have no idea how you made these things here. I think it looks sick though. I also love the composition of everything. This car shot here, is really cool and I love the transition to it. You kind of have like glass breaking, which looks pretty cool. And everything's kind of on beat, like. I do think that this shot here, there's just too much going on. I think you have the background out of focus. I only now realize you have the mercury wobble thing in the middle. So maybe I would have just either layered the effects in at a time or maybe just downscaled it a little bit. Just because I think there's just too much on at some point. I think the strongest part of this video is this transition. Like the fire looks really cool. The flame looks awesome. And with that, I'm going to give you 3.3 graffitis out of five. Hello, what do you think of this edit? Could you give suggestions on improvements? Oh. Bro, I feel like I'm in Dubai or something. Oh, <laughs> so I think you're uh, you're new to the game, but I can tell you right now, your speed ramps are looking very good. Your filming is pretty good. I think the closest thing to see a massive improvement in your edits is to try and edit to the beat. You can see things, there's nothing really synchronized here. When you synchronize to your music, it gives you a reason to stay. It's almost like a music video, you know, there's, there's rhythm to it. You kind of, people like rhythm, people like listening to rhythm. Sure, it can get boring if you just cut into the same beat every time, which is why you should cut to different beats. That's a top tip right there that I'm giving you guys. Knowledge. And then the last thing is this mask here. Even though it's pretty cool that you tracked it first and then it came up, it looked a little bit amateurish. The easy way you can fix that is by adding curves to your movement. So rather than it just kind of up and down, it kind of like, speeds up to here and then comes down or it can come up to its maximum size and here the drone shot starts and from here you're zooming out from the drone. Because there's room for improvement and because I'm excited to see what else you got, I'm gonna give you 2.9 Mercedes SL 500s out of five. Audi loop edit. And it loops. Nice. The things that I like about it first is actually the cinematography. Like this is really nicely done. You chose to have the sun on the right. You have the horizon. Like there's depth. There's the foreground. It looks really cool. Like this is this is just like a picture. It looks really nice. The only thing that I would say is to change up the shots that we see. Look, we have so many headlight shots. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. 10 headlight shots back to back. Like there's no reason why we should stick to see the next thing. We don't see anything new. So to be honest, I would vary out the shots, like get very low, some from the side. You know, you could have gone some really, really close detail shots or the interior shots, you know, just to add variety of it. I don't see a lot of variety to it. Just for improvement's sake for this video, I would have just maybe switched up more angles. <laughs> Party, I am in it, in it, in it, in it. 
room from improvement. I'm going to give you 2.9 out of 5 Audi rings. Oh no, did he do a stool? <laughs> oh, yo! <laughs> this goes hard. <laughs> You made me laugh, man. 3.5 out of 5 stools. You made me laugh. Whatever. Oh, my God. I literally just scrolled here. Are you going to do a chair? Ooh. Ooh. The drawing got in as well. Yo. <laughs> this is cool. You really have that kind of D2 shot style. I think this is sick, though. I think you added some particles. Nice. You clearly can do speed ramps. You clearly can do animations. You chose golden hour to film. You got the drone involved. How did you do that? Did you have the camera there and then you just... How'd you do that? That's sick. 3.5 out of 5 sun bathing chairs. <laughs> oh, Cherry. He's one of the uh, district JP editors. This is going to be good. Cherry. Oh, God. No way. <laughs> Jeffrey Dahmer. Yes. This is crazy. This is going hard. Yo. Oh, and we're switching up the cars. Let's go. Nice, nice. By the way, this is footage from Caden Creative. Really, really sick filmmaker. I might collab with him soon. I love this intro. Really gets you hooked in. Really is like, oh, what's going on? And he tracked it to the TV. I love the uh, transitions. Some are a bit too crazy, but you know, that's his style. What's good is that even though it's crazy, even though there's chaos, there's order. There's order to the madness. There's a lot happening, but it's to the beat. The speed ramps are flowing through the direction. And if he's going to go back, he just reverses it. Even though he's got these masks going on, he outlines the car so that it doesn't blend too much in i'm gonna give you four cherries out of five greetings from colombia eh, representando. i'm one of the few people in colombia who make this type of video here that's a vibe cheese do you like free because i love free and i love free that's vibes i think we can just do with you know just some more transitions to it like i think going from this shot here into like a similar shot which is close up i would have transitioned into it this shot was sick but it would have been nicer if you kept the car in frame siga dandole espero ver más de tus videos because of room for improvement let's give him uh 2.7 ferrari horses out of five. Ooh, caden creative i literally just mentioned this guy Ooh. Yo. Oh my days. <laughs> Bro, the flow. The flow is so good. First, yeah, come on. Let's give this guy a round of applause for the cinematography. Look at how he's coming through like this into the shot and then around the car and then keeping that wheel locked in the center like even if you did track it in post you need some skill set you know that's pretty cool i like these flash transitions very consistent with it your videos look so sharp like he's probably shooting on a high-end camera or using something like topaz which i actually started using which is amazing look this is a car video without topaz shot at 1080p and now with topaz this is sick isn't it the sound design is great listen to this It's got this kind of riser that kind of brings you up to the next bit. This is an amazing, amazing example of keeping the movement consistent in your shots. But you know, it's crazy. Like it all flows, it, it's all very coherent. And that's what makes it so cool. The only way that I would have improved it is maybe like, you know, the location, that's a black car, maybe it would be nice to see it in more of a colorful background. But I mean, to be fair, these mountains are pretty sick. This is a solid four out of five BMW logos in pink. Oh, oh, yes, this is sick. Top G. <laughs> what color is your BMW? VR Media, this intro shot is awesome. I love this ground effect. Like you took my tutorial, maybe, I don't know if you did my tutorial, but you put it to the next level. I'm seeing a lot of particles. It's really sick. Everything's like, you got the logo tracked on top. Speed ramps, you know, they move in the same direction and then they come, you know, it's it's great. This is a great, great edit. The only way to improve it is by making it longer. So for that, I'm gonna give you 4.1 top Gs out of five. 
before you go guys if you want your speed ramps to look like these two guys here then you definitely want to check out my speed ramping master course where i teach you exactly how to get this same style of speed ramps plus with footage that you can use to practice with and i teach you transitions the boomerang effects both on premiere pro and adobe after effects or you can get them both separately and i also give you some top tips on how to film your videos for speed ramps and my personal shot list when i go out filming so you want to step up the level of your speed ramps definitely you want to check out the first link down below and with that being said thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next video yeah,